Hey, I'm JR, training manager here at Crutchfield, and this is the SVS SB3000. Now, if you know anything about home theater and bass and powered subwoofers, you're certainly familiar with SVS. Their name is kind of synonymous with the biggest and best powered subwoofers we've ever heard. They are amazing. The SB3000 is one of their best performing and more affordable subwoofers. It's a little smaller than some of their other subs. It's not quite as heavy as some of their bigger, badder subs. Still just as rugged with a ton of bass. The SB3000 features a front firing 13 inch woofer made of aluminum. That's a nice lightweight, yet very strong, very rigid material to fire all of that bass directly at your listening position. And the woofer is mounted into a sealed cabinet. That's the SB for sealed box or acoustic suspension cabinet, which means the bass will be tight and accurate, very musical. If you use your subwoofer when listening to music, or home theater, it's going to be accurate, tight, and punchy, and it still goes low enough to give you that rumble when dinosaurs explode in whatever movie you're watching. In fact, it can go all the way down to 18 hertz. That is subsonic level bass, so deep you feel it more than you hear it. Having all that bass is great, but you have to have a way to control it. And SVS has come up with two really great ways to control the sound out of this woofer. Right here on the back panel is an intelligent control interface with soft touch buttons, lots of adjustments you can make with LEDs to indicate exactly where you're at with sound. If you want to take your sound to the next level, you'll download uh, SVS's control app. Uh, put it on your phone, whether it's an iPhone or an Android, it's compatible. You'll connect to the subwoofer using Bluetooth, and you will have control over the crossover settings, the parametric EQ, the polarity of the woofer. You'll have bass management built in. Uh, and it even has bi-directional feedback, which means uh, it can show you the real-time adjustments it's making to the bass for your room. And it does indeed allow you to customize the bass specifically to your room. On the back, you're going to find two sets of RCA connections. One of those is a pair of inputs. You can either use those as line level inputs if you have a full range stereo RCA preamp output you want to connect it to. Or of course, one of those is an LFE or a low frequency effects output. This is what you would use if you're connecting it to the sub out on a home theater receiver. There's also a set of RCA outputs. So if you want to connect one sub to your receiver and then connect the outputs to another sub, I mean, what's better than one SB3000? Two SB3000s, and they make it easy to make those connections. So if you're looking for a ton of bass, whether you're listening to music or home theater, uh, without spending a ton of money, the SVS SB3000 should be pretty close to the top of your list. So if you're looking for a powerhouse of bass without spending a ton of money, the SVS SB3000 should be at the top of your list. If you have any questions about this or anything powered subwoofer related, we can help. Get in touch with us here at crutchfield.com. You can talk to our advisors over the phone, chat with them online, even send them an email. They'll be glad to help you pick out the right powered subwoofer for your home. If you have any questions, you can also put them right here in the YouTube video in the comment section. We do look at that and we will reply to you there whenever we can.